to the end of where this square is going to be done. So I'm gonna keep sewing until the edge meets that line. I'm going to move it over. I'm gonna just keep sewing it. Remember to back stitch once you get there and keep sewing. Then what you need to do is you need to lift, you need to turn your hand wheel towards you to lift up your needle. You're gonna take out your fabric and you have your first square. Look how sharp those corners are. That's why you need the needle to be in the down position. Okay, when starting your next square, all you're going to do is you're going to line up the edge of your presser foot with the square that you just made. All right, so I'm gonna start sewing. You wanna back stitch? You're gonna sew all the way down. And for this one, um, since your fabric is a little bit on the inside, you're not gonna wait until this edge meets that little line. You're just gonna sew until you see these stitches kind of go right under the lip of your presser foot. So you're gonna lift up your presser foot, turn it, put it down. It's okay if it's not exactly lined up. We'll make it lined up as we move it over. So you're gonna do that for four more squares. You're just gonna keep sewing. Once it goes right under the lip, take it, lift it up, move it down, and just keep sewing. So by the end of the sample, you should have four squares total. And then you're done.